While the players are the stars at this week's U.S. Senior Open at Saucon Valley Country Club, while the volunteers are the unsung heroes, helping to ensure the tournament goes off without a hitch. 69 News reporter Bo Coltnow is live on the old course there at Saucon with more on that. Bo? Rob, I hate to break it to you. I heard your intro. There were no pros that were excited to meet at least me. I don't know about Dan, but not me. But we were excited to meet the volunteers. In fact, you can see them right over my shoulder there, the guys and girls in purple. The call for volunteers went out more than a year ago, and demand is so strong. The opportunity to work for free, so enticing, there's a wait list. Off the tee. Second ball. In the fairway. Around the green, the people in purple stand out, especially whilst holding bright orange paddles. This means I uh, give direction to the people in the fairway as to where the ball's going, right, left, or middle. Kutztown's Walter Hess is part of the team behind the championship. He's one of more than 1,800 volunteers here at the U.S. Senior Open. Retired school teacher Doug Schuster of Nazareth is a whole marshal. If you're in the tee box, you just uh, face the audience, put your hands up in the air to indicate that sh the audience should be quiet. Have you ever marshaled before? I have not, and I was trained this morning. My favorite job so far is the little flag. If someone hits it into the rough, you place the flag about two feet in front of the ball. And Hellertown's Katie Gwynn is set to be planted around the green. Are you prepared if people don't uh, listen to you? <sighs> I guess not, but I will be by the time that happens. And getting the ball to stop in the hole is the goal for players. But for volunteer coordinator Maisie Freeman, her role is making sure everything is a go. Literally in every aspect that you can think of, we have volunteers helping out. Uh, so the championship literally would not run without volunteers. For these volunteers, this scene is payment enough. It's just beautiful. It really is. The way they've prepped the course is just phenomenal. And we're back here live. You can see some of these 1,800 volunteers. It's not just local, international as well. Six volunteers, international, Japan, Australia, UK, and Canada. They came down from the boss from Boston where the U.S. Open was just last week. They're doing a good job, Rob and Wendy. But for now, live here at the Old Course, Boat Colt now, 69 News.